Good morning from beautiful Southern Baja, Mexico. It's been a little while since I've connected with you guys on YouTube. And today I wanna to share with you some really, really big news. So grab a cup of coffee and let's go inside and catch up. My name is Michael Ladin. I am currently traveling more than 220,000 miles around the world on board my 1994 Storton Stevenson Overland Expedition Rig and KTM Adventure Bike. This is my story. So what's the famous saying? The only thing in life that's constant is change, right? And there probably couldn't be anything more true to that statement than my journey over the past uh, three years or so, really. And uh, so to answer the, the question that you're probably looking at on the thumbnail, yes, this truck is gonna be for sale. So let's get that out of the way right here from the beginning. But I'd like to kind of take you on the journey, if you will, of what has gotten me to this point. So I just celebrated over a thousand days of continuously traveling on the road full time in a truck. Now, if you recall, it was uh, during the pandemic, actually, that I set out. And originally it was in my 1979 uh, Mercedes Unimog and custom built Overland Expedition trailer. And I spent about a year uh, in that vehicle and then made the decision that I didn't really like the trailer, um, more from a perspective of pulling it, uh, just the, uh, the accessibility of moving things from the storage that was inside the back of the truck uh, into my habitat, if you will, of the, of the actual trailer. And um, I found full time on the road, it, wasn't just, it just wasn't really quite the right setup for me. And you've probably heard me talk about this many, many times on various videos and podcasts and whatnot. Uh, there is no right vehicle for what you're doing. It all depends on uh, where you're going, um, what your travel style is, et cetera, et cetera. Cut to this vehicle. So I purchased this 1994 Storton Stevenson and then built it out uh, in a fairly short period of time. It was uh, uh, two months, I guess, it took me to build to a point I could move in, and then about a couple more months to finish off the ancillary, uh, different things like the solar and the heating. It was happened to be summer, so I didn't need that originally. And I've now been traveling in this truck for just about two years, actually slightly more than two years. I actually, love this truck. I have very, very few complaints about it. So I'm sure the question is begging, why Mike? Why are we going to switch trucks again? Now, if you're a Patreon supporter of mine, I announced to you guys a couple weeks ago what the new vehicle is. And in fact, it's actually partly underway, uh, having construction done already. But that's for another video. Today, I really want to address this truck. I wanted to get it out there and let you guys know that it is for sale. It's going up on auction this week and it comes with a lot of mixed feelings, honestly. One of the things that is constant for me is my love of building things. And I've given this, I guess I've been given this opportunity based on the way that the trip has progressed so far. So let's backtrack a little bit. I set out, like I said, in the Mercedes Unimog, and then I transitioned into this vehicle. And with the pandemic going on, there were border uh, closures, there's shipping issues uh, pretty much worldwide. 
And I ended up going to so many different locations that I had never really intended to visit. And one of them, coincidentally, happens to be where I'm located right now in southern Baja, Mexico. Little did I know that I was kind of kind of fall in love with this area. And I, I don't want to call it stuck, but I have now spent the better part of half of a year, last year and this year, exploring uh, through Baja. And if, for those of you that have followed me, you know that some of that's been on my motorcycle, some of it's been in this truck, and some of it has been on a bicycle doing the Baja Divide. But it's given me an opportunity to test out all of the uh, different means of transport and the vehicles that I've been in. And it's given me a chance to sort of step back and look at what exactly is an around the world trip. And I get a lot of uh, inquiries from you guys online saying, hey Mike, it doesn't look like you're getting very far, you're still in North America. And I guess my quick answer to that is, this was never really about pounding pavement or a continuous trek and I think I said very early on, it's, it's really a, a lifestyle choice to continue traveling and slowly making my way to new uh, and different places. And, you know, with this vehicle, I've gone to basically the United States, around it a couple times, uh, Canada uh, briefly, and down here in Mexico. But... It's given me an opportunity to test the vehicle, test sort of the lifestyle, and decide, you know, what is for me. And that's kind of where I'm at now. Um, it also has given me the opportunity to take little breaks. So because I, I've taken the mindset away from myself that I have to be traveling, I have to be continually progressing to the next country, I kind of sat back and said, well, I like to build things. And I get the opportunity this summer to build a new truck to replace this one. And that's exciting to me. Um, there aren't a lot of things that I would change, honestly, about this vehicle. Um, but when you have an opportunity to do something over again, you're inevitably gonna find probably, I would say, maybe a half dozen to a dozen things that maybe I would upgrade uh, maybe upgrade isn't even the right word, just simply change about my current setup here. And they're really kind of actually nitpicking things because if you saw, said to me, hey Mike, you're gonna have to stay in this vehicle for the rest of your trip uh, or for the rest of, or for the next five years, let's say, uh, traveling around, I would be perfectly happy with that. When I first moved into the store in Stevenson, my initial reaction, or fear, if you will, was that this truck might be too big. And I was coming out of the Mercedes Unimog, which admittedly is spectacular, uh, particularly off-road. And I've gotten over the last couple of years now to take this vehicle uh, off-road in Utah, in Colorado, in Wyoming, uh, a lot of different places, certainly all through the Baja Peninsula. And I gotta tell you, it is a rugged vehicle and it has performed far better uh, than I would have ever imagined. Probably the only negative, of course, if you recall, was day one coming into Mexico, I managed to get, yes, everything can get stuck. I managed to get this truck stuck. And when this truck gets stuck, that was a three day ordeal. And although it's bittersweet for me, I'm kind of excited to pass the baton onto somebody that is really going to continue to use this the way it should be used and enjoy uh, this vehicle. If you have any interest in it uh, before it goes up to auction, please shoot me a direct message uh, either off my website or through one of my social medias. I'd be uh, glad to answer any questions and uh, point you in the right direction of where the auction is going to take place. So, um, you know, good luck to everybody out there. Uh, I think you're going to really love this truck if you uh, manage to uh, get your hands on it. So I guess that's where I want to conclude for this week. I just kind of wanted to let everybody know sort of what's going on. I have uh, largely been a little bit quiet over the last month and that was mostly because 
uh, I purchased the new vehicle, uh, began doing some work on that, and um, yeah, I'm uh, very excited. Uh, next week, I'm gonna be at Overland Expo West in Flagstaff, Arizona. That is May 19th through May 21st. Stop by, this truck is going to be there, so be sure to come check it out. And it may be the last appearance of uh, this vehicle at the Overland Expo Tour. And uh, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, by the end of this season here, the new truck is gonna be making an appearance, uh, probably at Overland Expo East down in Virginia. So that is what's going on. Uh, glad to be talking to you guys. It's been a while. Uh, stay tuned because this new build out I'm going to film in entirety and you're gonna to get to see every little component that goes into the new truck. So definitely pay attention to that. Um, and uh, the last go around, if you remember, uh, I did not do a lot of filming on the build for this truck. So uh, I put a bunch of mechanisms in place uh, this time to make sure that that does not happen again. So uh, looking forward to seeing uh, you guys out there on the road and um, I'll be bringing you a whole lot of videos on the new build so stay tuned for that thanks for watching as always and uh, thank you for all my patreon supporters out there and uh, you guys of course kind of know what the new truck is but we'll see everybody in the next video thanks for watching this video if you like what we're doing, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the truck and tree symbol to your right. Once again, thanks and hope to see you soon.